Hey guys, it's Princess 3 x and today I'm filming a video that I promised to do about two or three weeks ago and I haven't gotten around to doing it because I wanted to wait for a little while so that you guys could actually see the results and understand this review. So obviously by the, today's title I am filming a review and this is a review on the Sally Hansen Continuous Growth Treatment Nail Polish, Clear Polish or whatever. I mentioned this in my June Hits and Misses video. I mentioned how much I loved it and how much I was obsessed with it. And then I promised that I would do a single review just on this product. So that's what I'm doing today. I wasn't really too into filming a review for this because I'm really bad at reviews. I've only done one review before and that was on a mascara. And I always feel like I haven't covered enough points in the video for you guys to want to buy the product or not want to buy the product. And slowly I'll become better at recording reviews and so on and so forth. Uh, first of all, I want to apologize for the lighting in this video. It's really dim and gross outside, so that's the only reason why the lighting is bad. So I apologize for that. I turned on as many lights as I can to sort of get some kind of good lighting in here, even though it really doesn't matter for this review. And second of all, I want to apologize for my really stuffy voice. Uh, I don't know why, but my nose is suddenly stuffed up. I also want to mention my makeup real quick. Uh, today I went for a really simple look. It's definitely not what I'm used to. It's a lot less makeup than I'm used to. And I think I've just been doing it because I've been trying out new looks, trying out new shadows, so on and so forth, so that I get out of this makeup rut that I've been stuck in. And I want to try and delve into more colorful shadows as well. So hopefully you'll be seeing some more colorful looks on me. Um, but today's look is really, really, really natural and really simple. And I will just zoom in and show you guys. Uh, I apologize for my brows. I used a different brow pencil today because I've been trying to find a dupe for my Holy Grail one that is now discontinued. Um, and this is too dark for me. But anyways... I just did a highlighter all over my lid, and then my normal eyeliner, and barely any mascara. Uh, and then I did foundation. I am not wearing any blush or anything like that. And then I'm doing a really dark burgundy lip. It looks a lot lighter on camera because of the lighting settings that I have on right now, but it is a lot darker in person. Um, but anyways, I'm going to get on with this review so that it doesn't take too long. So this is the packaging. This is what it looks like. It does not usually have this little sticker here. I got mine for 75% off both times that I bought it. So it was around 3 or $4. Normally it's worth, or normally it's about 11 or $12. But in my opinion, I totally buy it for 11 or $12. Um, this is the Sally Hansen Continuous Treatment Time Released Growth Formula. And it says for dry, brittle nails. And I will list the product in the down bar so that you guys can really see it. I'm sorry about the reflection here. So I, okay, that's better. Um, it says delivers targeted and continuous care for longer, healthier nails. And I bought this because I'm really into growing out my nails. I love long nails. My hands are very, 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 very tiny. Like, they're abnormally tiny. They're not just small hands. Um... And I feel like when I have short nails, they almost look like baby hands, and that bothers me so much. So I'm really into growing out my nails and painting French manicures on my nails and having long nails. I know a lot of people think they're gross or think they're unattractive, but I think they're really feminine, and so I grow out my nails on purpose. Um, but to grow out your nails, you need to have really strong nails, and if they break off, obviously, it's just going to stay short. Um... So I bought this in hopes that it would make my nails not only grow faster, but also grow stronger and not be as chippable or as breakable. And I have found that this doesn't make my nails super strong, but it makes my nails grow like wildflowers. And it's almost crazy how much length I've, show, or length I've seen in my nails uh, over the time that I cut them. So I cut them really, really, really short in order to make them grow out really evenly. Um, and you can see the beginning nail shot in my June Hits and Misses. And that hopefully showed you how short my nails were before I started the growing process. And so the length that I'm about to show you on my nails, um, I grew within two weeks. So if this is two weeks of growth, you can only imagine how long my nails would be within a month. Um, so this is two weeks of growth. And they are super long, in my opinion, or longer than they usually are. I've never ever gotten my nails this long, and I don't know if you can even see at all, but they are really, really, really long. I'm trying to change my camera settings so you can see. They're really long, and they're all even except for this one, which sadly I broke off because I was like 
swimming and I hit my hand on something and it just chipped off or it broke off which like I said it doesn't make your nails super strong it doesn't make your nails significantly stronger but you can still break them if you're not careful so I've been trying to be careful I don't open soda cans anymore with my nails I open with them with like the side of my hand it looks really awkward but I don't really care um, but sadly this one broke anyway so it's a little uneven and it's not as long as the others but I don't really care um, but you can see how long my nails have grown like this is, an, this is a crazy amount of length for two weeks, and you can see the tips coming over my fingers. Um, so they've grown super long within two weeks, and I'm super proud of them. Um, everyone tells me I sound really superficial when I'm like, I don't want to break my nail, like, please do this for me, I don't want to break my nail, blah, blah, blah. They're like, oh my gosh, you sound like such a girly girl. But it's, it's really, 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 really hard to grow out your nails, and if you've ever tried to grow out your nails, you know how hard it is and how long the process takes. So... I'm extremely proud of my nail growth and I don't want to break them off because that would require me to start all over again because when one breaks off you have to like cut the rest because you know it, then it looks completely uneven and gross so um, I'm really proud of my nails now and I show them off um, and I need to paint them but I'm actually gonna keep letting them grow until they get to my desired length so I'm just gonna keep the clear coat on them until they get as long as I want which they should be as long as I want in about two more weeks so about a month and I will do another updated video in about two weeks so you guys can see how long they have grown but on to the actual review um, as you can see by the photos and the like how long they are now they did grow a very significant amount of two weeks so I can say that they do make your nails this d product does make your nails grow longer um, it's actually I mean I my nails grow fast normally but they never grew this fast I remember waking up one morning and looking at my nails uh, after like a few days of like I guess not really paying attention to my nails and I went whoa when did they get this long <laughs> like I didn't even notice they got this long this, this quickly so I was really in shock about how fast they grew and like I said it doesn't make your nails that strong but it does make your nails a bit stronger so if you're looking for something that makes your nails stronger I don't recommend this but it's definitely good if you want your nails to grow faster um, and longer but as far as a nail hardener goes, I don't really have any recommendations. I've heard the Sally Henson Diamond Strength Nail Hardener is really, really, really good. So if you're looking for a nail hardener, definitely look up reviews for nail hardeners. And don't just go buy this because I wouldn't recommend it for a nail hardener. Um, but it does what it says it's supposed to do. It says it's supposed to make your nails grow faster. It says long, healthy looking nails. And they look healthy to me, personally. They don't have any chips in them like they normally did. Um, I haven't had much breakage and this top coat makes your nails look really naturally healthy when you put it on if you just want to have the top coat on by itself and not any polish over it it makes your nails look so healthy um, and it actually shocked me because it is a clear formula but it's a very clear thin formula so when you put it on you can put on a lot and it dries super quickly and it makes your nails so shiny like that's what I have on my nails right now it has lost some of its shine because I've been wearing it for a few days I need to reapply another coat but on its own it's very very shiny so I can walk out the house with this and be perfectly happy with how my nails look with it so I do have two of them, and this one is the one that I opened first, of course, because this one's still in the packaging. But this one has actually started to get too thick for me to put on my nails. It gets really thick really fast, which I've heard happens to set Chavit as well. Um, so I don't know if that's just a thing that happens with top coats if you leave them for too long. But you can see how thick it is now. Like, it's really thick. It won't even drip off the brush. So I need to get a polish thinner and thin this one out so I can reuse it again. Um, cause it's too thick to put on my nails. I don't use it anymore. So recently I've been using this one until I can get my hands on a polish thinner, which will hopefully happen soon. And this will show you the real consistency. This bottle is completely full and it hasn't been opened except for in the past week or two. And you can see it is still, you know, a, a nail polish formula, but it does drip a lot easier and it's a lot thinner and yeah, things. But... If you've ever gotten a gel manicure and you know how shiny, like perfectly shiny gel manicures stay, that's how this stays on your fingernails. And so I love the finish of it. I, I'll even use it over nail polishes when I'm doing right, regular manicure because it is a really, really, really shiny finish. So I really like that about it. Um, as far as, like, I don't know, side effects or like anything like that, like as far as nail condition, 
I know a lot of people said it made their nails worse and I'm shocked by that because it did not make my nails worse. If, if anything, it made them so much better and it did not yellow my nails. Um, my nails are naturally, or not naturally, but they're pretty yellow because I paint my nails all the time. So they're really, really yellowed. Um, so I need to whiten them. I need to do like the alka or thing or whatever it is and whiten my nails. But this didn't make my nails any yellower. I've been using this and I actually think... It took away the yellowness from some of my nails because I stopped using nail polish for a while just to use this. And so my nails didn't yellow as much. Um, so I actually liked that about it. But I'm super proud of my nail length. And I think this product had a lot to contribute to that. I don't think I could have grown my nails this this long, this fast, in this like short amount of time without this product. And it has reached holy grail status for me. I need to go buy like two or three more backups before they stop selling it at this price because I think it is a little bit ridiculous at the $11 price, but if that is the price they start selling it at again, then I will gladly buy it up at the $11 price. Um, so I can recommend this wholeheartedly to anyone who wants to grow their nails. To anyone who wants to strengthen their nails, they have a strength formula, which I have not tried. Uh, I think I'm going to go pick that one up when I pick up my next backup of this. So hopefully I'll be able to try that soon for you guys and give you a full review on that as well. Um, and I actually, now that I've seen the effects of this and how great and amazing this is, I sort of want to try the rest of the line just to see how well they do. I think that there's a growth one, a strengthened one, and a hardened one, which I don't get why there's a hardener and a strengthener. I thought they were the same thing, but I guess they're not. Um, or maybe I'm just wrong and they have a strengthened one and then some other one. They have like three, uh, and they're in different packaging. So this is the blue one. So if you're looking for the growth formula, it is in the blue packaging, and it looks like this. The only thing I don't like about this is I can't see how much product I have left because it is a opaque blue bottle. But I don't mind. The packaging does not turn me off at all. I don't care about the packaging because the product inside is so amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this review was helpful. Uh, let me know in the down bar if you want me to do more reviews and what products you want me to review because hopefully I can get some practice doing reviews because I don't think I'm very good at it yet. But I hope I covered all the points in this video. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Come and like, subscribe, send in your requests, and I will definitely see you guys later.